morning. Just, I don't want to discuss only the performance relation of Jokart system and the Indian conditions. It's a long journey. So it's 20 years long journey. And maybe you didn't know about that. Uh, we have suggested this Jokaso type of system in 2013 to Supreme Court for the Delhi Jal Board for the revival of Yamna. And prior to that, just I would discuss. In 2003, or 20 years ago, we published a paper when I was in Japan. I was working in Nishihara Corporation. They also made the Jokaso, different kind of Jokaso. We published this paper, small scale on site system in Japan in Indian Institution of Engineers about 20 years ago. And we got this best paper award there. And afterwards, uh, we, we are involved with JECS, Japan uh, Center for Environmental Sanitation. And we did several uh, workshops, trainings, and this was Jokaso testing facility in Japan 2010. And then with CPHU, we, we went to Japan because CPHU manual was uh, developed uh, with the help of JICA. And we go for training many times. And then in 2013, this was the Jokaso training. Just check the transparency and other test for the Jokaso. And we bring this uh, Joka system in CPHA manuals, Charasia, Mr. Charasia was also the member, and we put in 2013, you say that this is a technology, and we put this kind of system. Even though this system is, uh, uh, first system is different than the IKEA axis, they have two-stage anaerobic filter and contact aeration, but we give this kind of systems, yes, we can involve, because we have tested whatever the tested facilities we put in the manual. We haven't put anything that we haven't tested that all over the world, there are nothing like a special kind of bacteria for the treatment of drain or some kind of blah, blah type of systems. So manual, we, we have checked. We have, because Jokaso, they, in Japan, they were using Jokaso from 1960s. And initially, maybe anaerobic filter, then some kind of aeration, then contact aeration, then three type, three chambers. And then you can say that uh, in 1980s or something, Jokaso had developed. And a lot of developments takes taken place. And even 20 years ago, they developed the membrane Jokaso. 20 years ago. So then we put this kind of system in the Ministry of Drinking Water Supply Sanitation book, uh, Technologies for the Solid Waste, Solid and Liquid Waste, uh, waste Management Rural Area. There we put also Jokaso in 2015. And this system we put it like first stage anaerobic filter and contact aeration. And there's nothing like uh, specified or patented kind of technology. It's a basically simple, thing, uh, simple uh, three or four tank systems and with uh, various technologies. Like we have a settling, settling means septic tank. Then we have anaerobic filter, we have attached media. Then we have a contact aeration or fixed media. Then we, we can say IFAS or MBBR. Then we have a settling tank and disinfection by chlorine tablets. So it's the anaerobic filter type. Anaerobic filter we developed in 1960s in India al already. And uh, CBRI have this anaerobic filter, like uh, settling tank, anaerobic filter type of a flow tank. And then contact aeration means MBBR or some fixed media aeration. And this is called Jokaso. Jokaso means tank for treatment tank. This can be made with plastic, syntax made with plastic, HDP. And then here we made the fiberglass. So nothing like just I want to tell you, there's just several tanks and then we have uh, several systems and very fundamental kind of thing, nothing very, very specialized. But the main thing is how we developed, how we put the media in that, what kind of media, how we must recirculation, how much aeration, how we optimize the system. This is the technology for specific companies. Like initially, as I told, because I got, I have some catalogs from my earlier company that this is simple aeration system, settling tank aeration system, maybe in 1980s or 70s. Then contact aeration system, second. And third one, you can see BOD 20 milligram per liter, at the uh, maybe standard Jokasa system. And initially they made it for the black water, then they made it for uh, combined uh, black and gray water, and then they mix. And then now this system is for both black water and gray water, like household sewage. Then this was the recirculation system. They, they had the recirculation system, and they, they increased the size for the nitrogen and uh, BOD removal, excess BOD removal. For phosphorus, we had the alum, uh, alum coagulant, but also they developed that electrocoagulation system, but I don't think it is successful for the removal of phosphorus. 
but by alum or polyaluminum chloride addition, we can remove the phosphorus very easily. And this membrane, membrane, they put the membrane for the separation in the last tank. Instead of settling tank, they put the membrane. And this was developed about 20 years ago. And you can put several kind of membranes and Daiki have these kind of membranes. This is how the things developed. And now we are at this stage like, uh, it's not working. Now, waste is the pointed nature. Like, just. Okay. Take that pointer. Hmm. So, this is basically this kind of system we evaluated. This first tank is a simple settling tank. You can see. Settling tank, separation, and degradation. The first tank is a septic tank. You can see. You know? First tank is a septic tank where the settling and degradation at the bottom takes place. And about 30% BOD we assume he removes here. Then second tank is the anaerobic filter tank. We have an up upflow anaerobic filter type system. We have attached media and the anaerobic bacteria degraded the soluble BOD. And then thereafter, maybe they have two stage anaerobic filter tank, maybe one stage. Here in this case, one stage. And then it moves to MBBR, moving bed biofilm reactor, moving bed biofilm reactor. Why MBBR is not wasn't successful in India? Because Instead of anaerobic filter, they just put the three hours or one hour or one, one and a half hour MBBR tank here in India. That was become. And here the MBBR tank, the detention time is more than six hours. Anaerobic filters, maybe more than 10 hours. Anaerobic filter, more than 12 hours. First tank, more than 12 hours. So detention time is much, much higher. So here two days detention time. And there maybe 20 years ago, our MBBR tank, only one, one hour detention time. Therefore, we almost eliminated from the India. This was a problem, but here, big and properly controlled. Then we have a settling tank and uh, disinfection, disinfection by the chlorine tablets and recirculation for the removal of nitrogen. So this is all, syst this is all the system for the, for the evaluation. Now you can see there are about one, two, three, three kind of STP together in a compact tank. Three, three kind of STP, they're just uh, because First STP septic tank, second is anaerobic filter, we use in many industrial wastewater treatment systems. Third is MBBR, we use it for the sewage treatment. And these three tanks, and with disinfection system. We installed in IIT to check uh, for Indian conditions because everybody wants that, okay, have you tested this system for Indian condition? We didn't have any idea. We didn't got it because the company, they started about two, three years ago. So I, ha I want, but uh, now we have uh, this opportunity, then we have, a sep uh, we have taken for the uh, prop, uh, sewage, actual sewage, but in the sewage, our STP, like in Delhi Jal Board also, or uh, most of you know, the BOD of these STP is about 150 milligram per liter, but we have to test the system for 300 milligram per liter, more than 300, because on the way about 50% of the BOD degraded in India. Therefore, once the BOD generated at your household is 300, but on the way to STP, it becomes 150. Therefore, we have, we have to increase the concentration of the BOD by adding methanol and other things to make, to, uh, to, to check it for the actual condition. This is 5 KLD Joka system. And this is a tertiary treatment. Just uh, DG and MCC told that, okay, their systems for Jokaso have the BOD standard of 20 ppm, but can it satisfy 10? Yes. 80% of the time it satisfies 10, but uh, COD for 100% of the time it satisfies uh, 50. But if we put this kind of tertiary treatment, tertiary treatment, then maybe I got sometimes 12 BOD or 13 BOD and 80% of the time less than uh, 10 BOD. We can put this kind of filter, then 100% of the time we can get the BOD 10. We have this kind of system. And now you can see here, this, this is a total installation and we tested it. This is the total installation. You can see it's five meter cube per day. You can put underground, you can put overground, you can put this kind of system. You can say several STPs together. Actually, this system, basically we have to test it for 25 degrees centigrade because once, that is very important uh, criteria, for 25 degrees centigrade is a standard system. And once we want to test it to 15 degrees centigrade, then our system become bigger. Then 15 degrees centigrade, then it become two times. And if you want to go for 10 degrees, it become three times. So just we have to increase the size. Like for Kashmir, we have checked the MBBR. So we require nine hour detention time compared to three hours here in Delhi. 
So for our system become three times bigger. Like all our Masuri plants, all our Nanital plants, the cost is about two or three times, well, three times than the normal plants. So for you have to pay also three times more than. In, in Shimla, we, we designed the SBR, we are making the SBR. The detention time is 31 hours. But here you can find the detention time in Noida, 12 hours or 13 hours, SBR, CTEC or something, 31 hours. Therefore, here also, for a lower temperature, we have to increase the size. So this is, but it works. It works because in Japan it works, this means it will work here. But here we did long-term evaluation for one-year evaluation, we have checked. And also this is important. The dissolved oxygen in the first tank in the anaerobic is about uh, 0.5 or you can say about zero. But in the MBBR tank, it's around four to five milligram per liter. This means we require blower of about uh, half horsepower to one horsepower, it depends on the type of Jokaso. But we have to maintain this dissolved oxygen concentrations here. More than three, more than four or something like that. This means we require aeration. Is energy intensive process we have to keep in mind and we can reduce the energy bill by putting the solar panels or something optimized op by optimization therefore this we have to consider in our mind now you can see cod hmm. so cod of our system that inlet cod prepared raw waters varies from 150 to about 950 you can see so much fluctuation is there in the cod inlet but almost, almost, all 95% of them, you can say 100%, there was some problem with the, uh, with the system. But you can get less than 50 COD. And you can see this uh, final outlet means after tertiary treatment, the COD is around 10 or 15 or 20 milligram per liter. So very, very clean, very, very clean water you can get by this kind of system. And you can see fluctuation is there, fluctuation, too much fluctuation with the COD values. And BOD. Now it comes to the BOD, that's the most important aspect. Here you can see the BOD also varies from 50 to about 300. We have to test it more, but anyway, this is the general BOD. We got it in our system. And most of the time we got about less than 10. But after putting this tertiary treatment system, you can see this tertiary treatment system, we got five to 10 and very easily. That's why in Japan, because they are very safe, therefore their standards of BOD is 20. The 20 is maybe 15, I can say 100% of the time. But if you want to play with 10 or 15, we have to put some kind of tertiary treatment system, the case to case. And you can see with the tertiary treatment system, we can get about less than, uh, less than uh, five even sometimes. You can see less than five BOD. This is uh, green is tertiary treatment system, but uh, this is the uh, Jokas outlet. For last two months, three months, we are getting less than 10 BOD. But after treatment, we can get uh, less than even five. Suspended solids, our NGT standard is about 20 ppm. Almost all the time we got less than 20 milligram per liter suspended solids. You can see, you can see here, and after tertiary filtration, you can get five even less than that. And this is the quality of water that we got. Mr. Badoni and other people, they have seen this, and this almost very clean water like here, you can get this kind of system. So after putting so many tanks, after putting so many treatment plants together, after giving so much energy and after giving so much cost, at least this is this was our target. Otherwise, septic tank is good enough and we can compare the quality of septic tank with this kind of system. And the biggest problem is nitrogen. Nitrogen, yes, our standards are quite strict for nitrogen and we have to be very careful in selecting the technology for nitrogen removal. And the systems, actually, we, we, we have tested and we faced some problem initially with the nitrogen removal. But because we, our recirculation rate is very high, so we control our recirculation rate. And then this is the inlet nitrogen for last three or four months. We are getting even less than 10 ppm nitrogen. And most of the time, and you know tertiary treatment doesn't work for nitrogen. It can just control 10% of the nitrogen, nothing. Tertiary treatment only control maybe BOD or suspended solids, no nitrogen. So you can see the tertiary treatment, there's no nitrogen, there's no effect of nitrogen, but the system can remove the nitrogen because the NGT standard and we have for the critical stretches for the like Himalaya or other places, we have to control the nitrogen also. Phosphorus, very easy to control, just we have to add, add alum or polyaluminum chloride. 100 ppm dose is enough to get the 1 ppm uh, effluent phosphorus and you can get most of the time less than 1 ppm phosphorus by, by adding 100 ppm of the polyaluminum chloride or alum. 
fecal coliform. We have the chlorine tablets like this kind of uh, tube and the water passes through the chlorine tablet and then it can bring the coliform concentration to zero. Zero almost every time. So very, very safe. But you have to change the chlorine tablets. You have to change them. Then you have to pay again. You have to pay the cost for the chlorine tablet. Every six months you have to check uh, chlorine. Monthly, yes. This means monthly. To get zero, this coliforms now, we are getting very high coliforms in our Ganga River. Therefore, any time, if you make anything there, we have to bring it to zero, but monthly. Therefore, things hidden are there, many, many plants together, lot of power, and monthly chlorine check, and also check it. Therefore, this is operation maintenance, very severe. This we have checked for the normal Jokaso, for the BOD 20 ppm. They installed in the governor house of Uttarakhand. And this is the after septic tank effluent, we put this Jokaso system. And you can see this quality. This is here they, they instead of uh, bigger uh, blower, they use the half size blower because they don't require nitrogen removal, they don't require BOD 10 ppm. And here with this analysis, this is the influent analysis, this is the effluent, this is the chlorine tablets. The water passes through this chlorine tablet. Hmm, this tube. And these are the results. These are because this only the, we have to remove the BOD. Here that uh, COD is 39 and BOD is 23 because they supply the motor, uh, the power is less. And TSS is 15. And after tertiary filtration, means after the filtration, sand filtration, BOD reduced to 18. And this is the standard, the satisfied MOEF standard. In, in the panel discussion, we discuss which standard we should follow for this kind of systems. So anyway, both systems we have checked and we found out most of the time they work very well. Just I want to discuss some of our studies that we did it for the simple kind of this kind of system, septic tank or anaerobic filter kind of system like syntax system. And this is the DRDO uh, biodigester and all kind of anaerobic package system, whatever available that doesn't require any power. And you can see here, you can see here is the BOD effluent. This is the influent BOD, 300 to 400, 500, this actual household. And you can see most of the time, the BOD is around, you can say, 80 to 70 to 150. So this is the 70 to 150. And there we can get about 10 to 20 milligram per liter. Therefore, everything here is everything is free, no power. But then we have to now make compromise that, okay, whether we require this kind of quality, we can go for without powerless system. And uh, if it, and total suspended solids just satisfies this standard. Just I want to compare both kind of systems. Therefore, first we require simple anaerobic filter. And once there, thereafter we have to put aeration system, then we can get the BOD. Like as uh, DG and MCG was telling that he made this uh, Hyderabad 335 MLD plant. And this was the effluent quality of 335 MLD USB plant. And this was the quality of pond effluent. And this is the quality of our all advanced ASP effluent system. Like you can see the legal board, AO process, or you can say here all SBRs, most of the SBRs basically in the Ganga belt. We are getting this quality of water here. Even Commonwealth uh, game that uh, MBR also. And similarly now, this anaerobic package or septic tank, we can get this kind of quality of water if we're really well, if we're really doing well, if it go proper desludging, if we design everything very well, then we can get this quality. And now we require this quality, this means all these efforts are going on to bring this quality to this. In last 12 years, we bring this quality, we improve this quality to this quality. And now in next how many years we can bring this quality. This is the effort, this is the challenge and we have to really work hard for these kind of systems. And here why we require this quality, we can say that okay, wherever we cannot put the sewerage system, it takes long time to or uh, maybe remote locations, we have to go for these kind of systems and that is by law. Therefore, we have to check this, uh, this is, this is, uh, have a lot of scope for the low temperature like resorts, like uh, our place like uh, Shimla or uh, Jammu Kashmir or Himachal or Uttarakhand. So we have to test this system for low temperature conditions also. And low temperature system is also simple, I think 5 KLD kind of system, we can just put only 2.5 KLD. This means almost retention time become double. And we have to test for the membrane joker system because membrane is the final barrier 
and you cannot get any disturbance in the quality. Sometimes we can get disturbance in the quality for a month, but in the membrane you never got, but membrane you again you have to pay twice or thrice operation cost. So this is all uh, by the independent evaluation of the Yoka system.